Hi yogis, welcome to Beyond Body with Abigail. I will be guiding you through an accessible yoga class geared towards beginner and intermediate yogis. You will walk away feeling invigorated and energized. Today, our practice will bring the heat and challenge our balance. So let's meet on the mat. I hope you're all settled in. Let's start by crossing our shins and just wiggling your body side to side. Finding your comfort zone, com finding comfort space. Now, uncross the legs and place the other one on top. Bring your hands to heart center. Take a deep inhale here. And exhale. One more, just like so. Inhale. And exhale. Softening the eyes. Maybe close the eyes. Start to tune in with your breath. Noticing the sounds around you. Letting my voice guide you through this practice. Bring your hands to your belly. Notice how your belly rises and falls with every breath you take. So on an inhalation, you'll feel your belly expanding and on an exhalation, you feel your belly contracting. Taking a couple of breaths here, just to center your mind, to focus your thoughts, and to bring your awareness to the four corners of your mat, to the here, to the now. Bring your hands towards your chest, and slowly open your eyes, keeping your chin slightly down and your gaze to the ground. Clasp your hands and roll out your wrists. Nice and slow, just flushing the blood towards the wrists, waking up the body. Press the palms forward, spread the knuckles, feel the stretch, and lift your arms up to the sky. And relax your shoulders. Inhale, lift your shoulders high. Exhale, relax the shoulders. One more, lift the shoulders high. Feel the stretch under the armpit towards the hips. Exhale, relax. Release the arms up to the sky. Drop the left palm down to the earth. Lift on an inhale. Exhale, fold over. Now, where you look is optional. If you want to just have a relaxed stretch, look down to the floor. If you want to turn it up just a little bit, look up and open that right shoulder out. Maybe walk your fingertips a little bit away. Now check in with that right knee. Relax the knee to the ground. One more deep breath here. And exhale, come back to center. Let's go to the other side. Drop the right arm out. Inhale, lift. And exhale, fold. I decide to look up because I'd like to get that stretch in the front of the body. Maybe walk the fingertips out. Rolling the shoulder open if you are looking up. One more deep breath here. Exhale. Maybe go deeper. Let's meet at the top. We're going to go into a twist. So inhale, lift, and turn to face the left. Place your right hand on the knee and open the left arm to the back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, push the palm into the knee, twist, find the back wall. Feeling how your ribs and how your internal organs are being a little bit compressed. And on the release, 
your blood will flush your internal organs. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Pressing the palm into the, show, into the knee, relax the left knee. Inhale, lift. Exhale, maybe go deeper. And let's meet at the top. Bring your hands to your heart. And step your feet forward. Wiggle your toes. Wiggle your ankles. Maybe drop your knees one way and then the other. Flushing the blood to the hips, to the knees, to the ankle. And let's bring our feet to butterfly pose. Holding on to the toes, sitting nice and tall. Stretch your chest forward. Now, we are not all the same. So if your knees are up here, that's okay. If you have the flexibility in your hips, this is also fine. But keep your chest forward. Now, fold forward as much as you can, keeping your chest forward and your back straight. And once you've reached your limit, then curve the spine, nose to toes. One more deep breath here. And come back up. Let's meet in tabletop pose. Your hands under your shoulders, your knees under your hips. Again, just play here with your weight. Experiment with the weight in your hands, in your knees. Now we're going to do a variation of cat and cow. Inhale, look up. Lift the chin. Exhale, chin to chest. Rainbow the spine. Inhale, look up. Exhale, forward. Inhale, look up. Exhale, chin to chest. Now you're welcome to stay in this with your knees on the floor. Or you can tuck your toes under, lift your knees off the floor and continue. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Two more. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale. Drop the knees. Drop the toes. Open the knees as wide as the mat. Child's pose. Walk your fingertips forward. Come onto the tips of your fingertips. To make it more of an active child's pose. Your knees are wide and your forehead is resting on the floor. Taking one more breath here. And exhale. Come back to tabletop. Spreading your fingers. Tuck your toes under and push back into a down dog. Now, if this is your first down dog, for the day, try to soften the knees, spread the base of your spine, looking down to the mat to spread your fingertips, lengthening your space under your shoulder blades, under your armpits. <laughs> I went blank there for a second. Now, if you're ready, lengthen your heels to the ground, stretch the back of your legs. Look forward, walk your feet towards your hands. Your feet as wide as the mat. Hold onto your elbows, relax your forehead down. Now, some of us might need to bend our knees. And if you have the range, go ahead, lift the kneecaps up. Drop your hands to the floor. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward bend. One more. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward bend. Like 
a wave, ripple your spine, inhale, halfway lift. Maybe look further forward, exhale, forward fold. One more, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Soften your knees and roll back up to standing. Mountain pose, Tadasana, feet together. Standing tall, chest forward. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, look forward. Exhale, step back, high plank. Drop the knees, the chest and the chin, look forward. Inhale, up. Exhale, push back. Stay here. Lift your heels off the ground, bend your knees, look forward, step, jump or hop forward to the front of the mat, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward bend, inhale, all the way up. Let's pick up the pace a little bit, forward fold, halfway lift, bend your knees, plant your hands, step or jump back, plank, knees, chest and chin down. Pushing all the way up to upward facing dog. Press back, downward facing dog. Take three breaths here. Maybe by now your heels are lengthening down to the floor. Your toes are spread wide. Your fingertips are spread wide. Last breath here. Lift your heels off the ground, bend your knees, step, hop, or jump forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up. Forward fold. Inhale. Exhale, jump back. High plank. You can go knee, chest, or chin, or you can go into Chaturanga all the way down. Inhale, up. Exhale, push back. Step your feet together. Lift the left leg up. Keep the left hip down, spread the fingertips. Bend the knee, look forward and step the foot in the gap. Coming into high lunge, lift the fingertips up to the sky. Now your high lunge, your back foot is on tippy toes and your front knee is 90 degrees. Chest is high, fingers are up to the sky. Now tuck your tailbone just a little bit so you can feel the stretch in the hip flexor. Now from here, we're gonna go into warrior two. So you're gonna rotate that back heel down and you're gonna open your arms to a flat line. Now maintain the bend in the front knee and pull the back knee nice and strong. Shoulders are relaxed. Reaching forward, shifting your spine a little bit over your hips, and reverse your warrior. Coming back up, windmill the arms up to high lunge again. Place the hands on the floor, step back. Knee, chest or chin, or chaturanga all the way down inhale lift exhale push back right leg lifts keep the hip down for now bend the knee look forward step the foot in the gap press into that front leg come into high lunge again check in with the front leg bending nice and deep check in with the back leg pulling up the thigh and tuck the tailbone forward to stretch in the hip flexor. We're going to go into warrior two. So rotate the left heel down and open the arms into a flat line. Gazing forward. 
shifting your weight slightly towards the front arm and reverse your warrior. Keep the bend in the front leg. Windmill your arms back up to high lunge. Place the hands on the floor, back, high plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, push back, downward facing dog. Now we're going to add on to that little sequence. So lift the left leg up, spread the toes, press into that right heel. Bend the knee, look forward, step the foot in the gap, coming up into high lunge. Pressing into that front foot, pulling up the back leg, opening up to warrior two. Reaching forward and leaning back into reverse warrior. This time we're going to windmill the arms into trikonasana, stretching the front leg and placing the fingertips in front of the leg. Maybe look up if you're stable. Or look down to keep the balance. You're opening that right shoulder up. You're turning in the waist, squeezing the bottom to protect the lower back. Coming up, bend the front leg, meet in warrior two. Windmill the arms back up to high lunge. Press the hands on the floor. Step back, chaturanga. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, push back. Right leg lifts. Bend the knee, look forward. Step the foot forward. Coming into high lunge. Again, check in with the front leg. Check in with the back leg. Rotate that heel down. Warrior two. Reverse warrior. Coming back up to warrior two. Stretch the front knee and triangle pose. Bringing the right hand down to the floor and reaching that left arm up to the sky. Again, look down if you need to find your balance and squeeze your glutes to protect your lower spine. Rolling the left shoulder up, right shoulder forward. Let's meet in warrior two. Bend the front knee. Bring the arms up to high lunge, hands down on the floor, step back, chaturanga, upward facing dog, push back, downward facing dog. Remember I said this practice will bring the heat today, so let's add on to that variation. Lift the leg, leg up, this time open the hip and bend the knee. Yes, you'll really feel that stretch in the hamstring, in the calf, in the quad of that lifted leg. Look forward, step the foot in the gap. High lunge. Immediately open up to warrior two. Reaching forward, reverse warrior. And coming back to warrior two. Stretch the front leg, triangle pose. Bend the front leg, keep your arms the way they are to come into a side angle. Reach the top arm over as you reach towards the front of your mat. Maybe look up, maybe look down. Creating a straight line from the tips of your fingers to your heel. Place that right arm down on the floor, come into high lunge with your hands on the floor. Drop the back heel, untuck the toes, push back, half splits. Now we're picking up the pace and we're adding on to the variation. Forward bend, deep lunge with the knee on the floor. Look forward. Push back, flex the toes. Once more, shift your weight forward, drop the waist forward. So you'll feel that stretch along the hip flexor. Last time, push back. This 
this time when you go forward tuck the back toes under press into your hands lift the back knee find your plank we are slowly going to lower down into chaturanga but you're welcome to go knee chest and chin as well for five four three two all the way down inhale lift upward facing dog push back down dog immediately lift that right leg up bend the knee open the hip looking forward step the right foot forward and let's meet in high lunge opening up to warrior two reaching forward and reverse your warrior Coming back to warrior two, stretch the front leg, trikonasana triangle. Now keep the arms where they are and just bend in the front knee. Keep your gaze up if you wish, or for extra balance, look down at your fingertips. Make sure that the knee, the front knee, is on top of the ankle. The back leg is engaged. Coming up into warrior two and high lunge. Placing the hands on the floor, drop the back knee down and half splits, flex the front foot. Lower the toes, high lunge with your knee and your fingertips on the floor. Push back, flex. Drop the toes, look forward. We'll do one more, pushing back, flex, lift the chest forward. The more you flex, the more you stretch in the back. Drop the toes, plant your hands on the floor, tuck your back toes up, lift the knee off the floor, step back into plank, lowering down chaturanga for five, four, three, you can do it, two, and last one, push up, upward facing dog. Press back. Downward facing dog. Bend your knees, look forward, step, hop or jump forward. Halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees and roll through the spine. Okay, so, whoops. <laughs> Bring your feet together standing nice and tall. Today we're going to work on our tree pose. So rolling your shoulders back, squeeze your thighs towards your bones. Now bring your right foot onto demi point or tippy toes. Now turn the knee out 90 degrees. Keep squeezing the glute on the left. Slide that foot up towards your calf. Bring your hands to heart center. And this is stage one, balance here. If you're ready to turn it up, grab the foot and place it on the inner thigh. So we never place the foot on the knee because we have a joint there and we want to protect the joint. And if you want to challenge your balance even more, release your arms up to the sky. This is stage three. <laughs> now, for those yogis that really want to push themselves a little bit further, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your feet or your foot into your thigh, and lift your gaze up to the sky. Bring your hands together, lift your heart. One breath here. And let's bring our hands down to our chest. Step your foot down and release. Wiggle out. And let's do prepare for the other side. Lift your left foot up to demi point. Turn out your knee to the side and squeeze your glutes. Now slide the foot to mid calf. 
bringing your hands to heart center. If you wish to stay here today, do so. If you want to push yourself a little bit further, grab the foot and place it on your thigh. Really squeeze your glutes here, lock the belly, standing nice and tall. To turn it up a notch, bring the arms up to the sky like a tree. Challenge the balance by bringing the palms together, squeezing that foot into your thigh and looking up. Lift your heart, squeeze your bottom, release, bring your hands to the center of your heart and release your legs, shake it out. Good, we'll do one more balancing pose. Lift that right foot up to demi point. Grab the knee, bring it into your chest. Standing nice and tall, flex the toes, point the ankles. Now take your left hand and hold onto your right knee. Bring your right hand onto your hip. When to twist, look over to that right shoulder and pull your body over. So you're twisting to find the back wall and find your balance. If this is too much, just stay facing the front. Twist and hold. Coming back to center and release. Ready for the other side, lift the left toes up. Bring the knee towards your chest. Now with this pose you want to release the knee. You, it's, it's not meant to be up here. Release the knee down towards the hip height. Take the right hand over the knee. Left hand on the hip. Now twist your shoulders. Pull the knee towards the side. Pull the left shoulder back. Drop that left hip and twist in the waist. One more breath here. And release, come back to center. Turn to face the long edges of your mat. Inhale, lift. Now squeeze your thighs, bend your knees. Chair pose. Bring your hands to heart center. Open your knees and slowly bring your buttocks down to the floor. Coming to seated. Now, we're going to do a little bit of core, so reach your arms forward, tuck your belly button in and roll off your sitting bones. So you semi on your sacrum. Now, all you're going to do is lift your right leg and switch your arms over to the right. Stay here for four, three, maybe stretch that leg out, two and one. Come back to center, lift the left leg up, keep it bent first. Switch your arms to the left, stay here for four, maybe stretch the leg, three, two, and one. Come back to center. Let's do that once more. Lift the right leg up, arms to the right, stretch the leg if you wish, stay here for four, maybe go a little bit lower for three, two, and release. Over to the left, left leg lifts, and twist, maybe stretch the leg for four. Maybe go lower for three, tuck the belly in for two, and come back down. Stay where you are and rolling the body all the way down. Drop the knees out to the side. And just take a deep breath here. Bring your feet to touch Baddha Konasana. And place your hands on your thighs. Soften the space between your eyebrows. Bring your knees up to the sky. Bring your knees into your chest. Roll your knees one way and then the other way. Place your toes down on the floor. Open your arms in a T shape. Drop your knees towards the right and look to the left. Bring your knees back up and drop your knees to the left and look to the right. And 
come back to center. We're going to get ready for Shavasana. So step your feet out as wide as the mat. Let your ankles flop open. Bring your palms as wide as the mat, palms facing up. Maybe walk your shoulder blades under just to open your collarbones a little bit. Soften the space between your eyebrows. Take one inhalation here. And exhale. Taking this moment just to relax. Part your lips. Releasing any tension in your toes, in your knees, in your hips, in your chest, in your shoulders. Just relax. your hand on your belly. Slowly step your feet up and roll your body to one side, keeping your eyes closed, staying present with the current sensations in your body. Push your palms into the floor and come into a cross-legged position. Bring your hands to your heart. Keeping your gaze down. You're welcome to soften the eyes and open them just a little bit. Place your hands on your belly. Take a deep breath in and out. Now place your hand on your heart. Take a deep breath in and out. Thank you for practicing with me today. Bye-bye.